Hey, hey everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Today I am over here in Red Point Square Village checking out this Obsidian by Woodside Homes. This is actually my first time here and um, you know what, there's no one in the sales office so I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> just give you the model home tour. As for lots and lot premiums, I have no idea. But maybe I'll put it in the description below what's going on. Uh, so this is, but I do see that there are two different collections. You have collection one and collection two. And they have four on models here with a total of five floor plans to choose from. So this one is the Amber Plan 3. And it's a three-story home. Sorry, it's windy out. 18, 99 square feet, two to three bedrooms. Two and a half to three and a half bathrooms, a bonus room, a deck at the dining, covered Lagosha, two car garage with storage space, and starting price is at four eighty seven nine ninety. Now, just because that's the starting price today, that could change depending on when you see this video. It could be higher or lower. Um, so this is a three story floor plan interesting so I guess when you come downstairs you have like a family room or a room and you're gonna have smaller backyards in this community just because it's part of the Red Point Square village where most of the lots are gonna be a lot smaller than your average lot size so then they have a half bathroom down here so this is the biggest floor plan out of all of them the Amber Plan 3. I'm going to get my exercise today. So if you hear me panting, it's because I had to go up three flights of stairs. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Interesting. That probably is the primary, but let's take a peek right here. So then you have this great room. Nope. And then the kitchen area. These are interesting cabinets I haven't seen before. A nice little pantry. Little. Nice island with the quartz countertops. Ooh, that has a patio. Let's see what's back here first. So then you have another half bath. So that's why you have two half baths, a linen closet. Let's check this bad boy out. Oh, it would be nice to have a patio like this. You can have, you know, a nice table, eat food, especially if you had view strips, strips, view at the strip. <laughs> Very nice. It's beautiful out today. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to be curious to see how much the lot premiums are. I'll definitely post it down in the comments below. Um, just because of the views some of them may have. Not all of them will have those types of views. We have another, like, oh, this is where your laundry room is. And then, yep, this is your primary. It's a little small. But just look at all the views. Nice mountain views. This is a nice quartz. It's more of like a home finished quartz. It's a good size primary closet with the John. Alrighty. Let's go upstairs. Kind of reminds me of the old Calantic homes where they had the three stories. Too bad they don't have rooftop decks here. I really like the Calantic homes. So as you come up, you have this nice view.
Okay. Don't look at me. Just kidding. Huh. This says two to three bedrooms, I see. I see. So then downstairs, I would imagine. Wow. Actually, this would be the master for me. Because then you have another balcony. So it's kind of like having two masters. Then the downstairs can be converted into the third bedroom. And I would imagine that you could add a full-size bathroom. So that's why, let's surmise this plan, which is the Amber Plan 3, three stories, 1899 square feet, two to three bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half baths. And then, so that half bath would be converted into a full bath and you would still have a half bath down here with a bonus room, a deck at um, the dining room, and the covered patio downstairs. So let's go back and take a look down there again. So this is the bonus room with your covered patio. So I would imagine this could be very easily converted into a bedroom with another bathroom. So this is how probably your typical lot size is going to be. I mean, at least some people for easy maintenance, you don't have to worry about having a yard and it's kind of private. So that's that plan. If you're thinking about buying new construction in Summerlin, you know who to call, your local Summerlin expert. Me, Angela O'Hare at 702-370-5112. As always, like, share, subscribe, and all that jazz. I'll see you guys on the next one.